Hi guys, it's Brett from DoctorWhoGiftsGuide.com and we are back to do another series of unboxing videos for the Doctor Who Titans. Um, as you can see here, we have a full case of the Series 2 Titans, which of course is the David Tennant uh, 10th Doctor series. If you didn't catch the first video that we did, uh, you can go back and have a look at it either now or a little later on. Basically, the, the theory was uh, we I wanted to collect these in the most efficient way possible, and they are little blind box figures. I heard a theory that it uh, if you bought these online in bulk in a case of 20, like you can see here, that it actually dramatically decreased the likelihood of you getting duplicates, and that you would almost be guaranteed to get the full base set of 12, and possibly, if you were lucky, a variant or two. The people who watched the first video would uh, know that that theory came true the first time around and my gamble paid off. I actually got the full set of 12 of the Series 1, Matt Smith series, and got two very cool variant figures along the way. It didn't take me very long um, to get excited once I heard that this Series 2 had, uh, had been released, so I've got my hands on to another case and uh, I hope you're going to join me opening the next 20. I have spoken to a few uh, friends of mine who have kind of thought that the first time around might have been beginner's luck, so I'm ready to prove them wrong. I have another full case of 20 Titans here, and uh, if you care to, to join us, let's see if this theory is still correct. Was it beginner's luck? Is buying them in a case the way to go to get the full set? Uh, stick around and find out. I'll be back. And as we did last time, I'll open the first five Titans right here, right now. Alright guys, so here we go. This is video number one for Doctor Who Giftsguide.com's unboxing of the Series 2 Doctor Who Titans vinyl series. We're going to start, just like we did last time, with five of the 20 boxes that we have. So we'll start with this one here. A whole new series, a whole new set of characters to collect, and fingers crossed, a whole new set of 12 coming my way. Now this one, I didn't do much guessing in the first video, because I'm not very good at it, but this one is absolutely tiny, so I don't think it will take a genius to guess that this will probably be an adipose. <laughs> and it is. Look at him. Now, if you remember the adipose from David Tennant's run, he's basically just an adorable little thing of fat. So, uh, there's not a lot to him, really. As you can see, he's, he's uh, a lot smaller than three inches tall. And he um, doesn't have a lot of distinguishing features, but to be honest, he's just a ball of fat, so I don't know what I, what I was expecting. But he looks as he does in the show, so I suppose that's all we can really ask for. So there's our, uh, our number one Titan. Out of the 20, it's an adipose. All right, guys, here we are with box number two. Titan number two. Now, any of you who followed the first video would know that it was um, filmed on my very dodgy phone camera. You can see that not a lot has changed. Unfortunately, we've had to shoot this one on the phone camera too, so I do apologize for that. I did notice that there wasn't exactly a bad amount of detail in the last set of videos, though you got to see the characters just fine, so I suppose it's not the end of the world. So here we go, Titan number two, definitely a little bit bigger than the last adipose. Seems to have quite a big head. I'm going to I'm going to guess just for the fun of it because I had fun guessing last time. 
I'm probably going to say this might be uh, Vashta Narada from the library. <laughs> Good guess. Oh, he's lost his head. That's no good. Got to click him back on there. And oh, oh goodness! I don't think that was meant to happen. There we go. That's better. I'm not sure if he was meant to come apart like that, but he did. He seems all right now. As you can see, there's a fair amount of detail on him. And you can see that his blue skull is lit up to uh, to look like like it did in the episode with the little LED lights in the helmet. Swing him around now that he's fully assembled. Nice detailing again. He was actually one of the characters. Once I heard of the um, the characters that would be involved in this series, I was actually looking forward to seeing what they did with him and. And he looks pretty mean. I don't, I'm not sure. I hope you can see him close enough. His blue scar looks pretty cool. So that's Vashta Narada from the library episode, the very famous David Tennant episode. So he's a pretty cool titan, and he's titan number two. All right, guys, we're at titan number three now. Uh, so far, we started out with, we got an adipose, and we got Vashta Narada, so not a bad start at all. Two very iconic characters from David Tennant's run. This one is not not too heavy. There's a noticeable, noticeably smaller amount of Dalek technology here in these boxes, apparently. So. This one feels it might I think this might be a weeping angel by the feel of it it feels like it's got a bit of a wing wingspan and I am correct that's a freaky looking angel just like I said with the first series guys this series too you can see the detail on these three inch vinyls is pretty impressive Great work by Matt Jones, again, and the guys at Titan Merchandise. You can see the wings, a lot of detail on the wings, the hair, the creepy looking eyes, and the scowling face. That's a very, very cool figure. I, um, I heard a lot of people when this series was announced say that they wished that there was a variant of the angel um, with a less aggressive face, you know how they're placid at some times, but I don't think that's going to be the case. But at the moment, Titan number three for us. I'll try and keep the numbering right. I mucked up the, the numbering last time around. So this is number three, and it is a weeping angel. All right, guys, we're on to Titan number four. And this one is feeling, certainly feeling a little bit heavier than the ones that have come before it already. So I'm thinking we may be taking a look at our first Dalek of some sort. I could be wrong, but it is definitely heavier than some of the others. These boxes are a lot easier to get open than the Series 1 ones were. It's definitely heavy. We may be about to say hello to Davros. Davros. If we can get him open. Oh. No? I was wrong. A bronze Dalek. One of the more traditional looking Daleks. And there's his eye, his gun, and his plunger there, the accessories. I'm not sure if these are... I think they're a slightly revised mould from the Series 1 Daleks. Um, I definitely think this, this guy looks a lot better. I know that the colourful Daleks were 
an interesting kind of story point, but I've always liked like the Daleks to look more traditional and there's a lot of good gold and bronze kind of paint work done here. Just like the other Daleks, he's got his articulate head, he's a bit stiff. I don't want to twist him. Oh, there we go. And we have to put in his accessories with hot water later. We've got to loosen the vinyl up. So, tight number four, we've got a bronze Dalek. And we're four down, and we don't have any duplicates yet. So, we've started off on the right foot again. Our theory is watertight at the moment. We've got a long way to go, but we've started off very well. So, tight number four is our bronze Dalek. Alright guys, we've arrived at our fifth and final box for the first video here for DoctorWhoGiftsGuide.com's unboxing of the Series 2 Doctor Who Titan vinyl figures. So far, we have had a Weeping Angel, a Adipose, a Bronze Dalek, and a Vashta Narada figure. We're on to number five. It's a little bit light, very light actually, this figure. Remember guys, we're testing the theory that buying them in a case of 20 is a better way to, to build the set, a more efficient way to build the set than buying them one by one in a retail store. Not only do you save a lot of money buying them in bulk, but you also dramatically reduce your risk of getting duplicates. So, this feels to me like a normal person. So, it doesn't feel like he has a cyber leader head or is very short like a Sontaran. So, I'm going to say that we've got our first appearance, oh goodness, of the 10th Doctor, Mr. David Tennant. And I would be correct. There he is, Mr. David Tennant, the 10th. Doctor with his little blue sonic screwdriver there. Um, if you want to see them all with their accessories in, don't forget to, to keep watching because I do as I go along. I assemble them and, and do little uh, catch-up videos amongst the unboxing so you'll see them all put together. So that's a pretty neat Doctor. He would be our, I would imagine, he might be our 2 in 20 with the blue suit. Possibly, maybe. Um, yes, I'd imagine so. Blue, uh, I don't know. I'll have to, I won't bore you. I'll, I'll look that up and I'll let you know. But he's definitely David Tennant. He's definitely the 10th Doctor. And he is definitely our fifth Titan. So that's it for our first run of five. Guys, no duplicates so far. So we're, we're doing really, really well again, which is brilliant. As always, if you want to see more of these unboxings, if you want to see if we manage to get the whole set of 12, if we get any variants, which duplicates we get, you have to subscribe. Um, there is a button on the screen now um, for you to sign up, join our channel, and you won't miss any unboxing videos or any videos that we do for that matter. So if you're, you're a fan of these videos, hit the button now, join our channel, and come back and watch us unbox the next 15 Titans. Thanks guys, and we will see you very shortly. Don't go anywhere guys, because there's still plenty of unboxing still to come. Click the video on your screen now to be taken to the next part of the series, and while you're at it, why don't you hit the subscribe button and join our YouTube channel.